I joined the Guard because I was going to school at The Ohio State University and by about halfway through my degree I was pretty broke and needed the education benefits that I knew I could get from the Guard. I had heard about the um, Ohio Guard scholarship and I knew that I could get college completely paid for it and so I went to enlist. In my job, most of what we do is we train so that we can deploy with our Army customers. Basically, every single mission that goes out in Army and in the Air Force needs to get advised first by a weather officer, forecasts for ground for sky, for road conditions, for winds for precip, everything like that um, will greatly impact how missions are able to be completed and so we need to advise commanders before they send missions out to make sure that their assets and their personnel are kept safe. I love how complicated forecasting is. I love the like intricacies of figuring out, like being able to look at weather patterns so that we can determine what's what's coming. It's way more complex than a lot of people give it credit for, but I I don't know. I really love doing observations. I love doing the interpretation part. I love I love briefing. I love the trust that you build with the commanders that you work with. If you like consistently provide reliable forecasts, then commanders will count on you then to be able to give accurate, detailed information that will be able to keep their mission successful and their troops safe. I got my undergrad at the Ohio State University, and right now I'm going to New Mexico State for my master's in early childhood education. At my college graduation, I graduated with like 11,000 people or something, and we were all in the Ohio Stadium, and it was, it was incredible being with that many other people and all of their families who were all coming to support them, and all of us together just being able to celebrate this like collective moment of achievement. It was, it was really incredible. My degrees are completely unrelated to my Air Force job, and it's really incredible to be able to pursue both because I really love teaching and I love working with young children and I love doing um, reading classes with them, which is what I'm doing now, but I also really, really love working with in the Air Force with my Army customers doing weather forecasting. Most people don't get the opportunity to pursue two entirely separate dreams, especially at the same stage of their life.